Hi there, it's been a while since our last video, but we are back with something exciting. A new unboxing experience of a dedicated Linux notebook, the Infinity Book Pro 16 Gen 8 from Tuxedo Computers. Let's dive right into the unboxing and get our first look. As always, the packaging is excellent. Let me share a little story. I embarked on an 800 km journey in temperatures exceeding 40 degrees Celsius to create customs for our hero today. That's why you will notice the custom tape above the Tuxedo computer tape. Besides the Tuxedo tape on the outer box, there are two void tapes to detect any temperature. Now let's cut these tapes and get inside. You will hear the excitement in this sound. What do you find inside the inner box? A Tox mouse pad as a nice extra. And some invoices and shipping documents that we are leaving. Let's set those aside and focus on the inner packaging. While it's good, I must admit that I expected something even more premium. Tuxedo Computers is certainly capable of it. Just look at the inner box of the Tuxedo Pulse 15 Gen 2. Now let's open the box and reveal the 8th generation of the Infinity Book Pro 16. But wait a little longer. We have some extra goodies, including a USB C Ethernet adapter. And that's not all. There is something hidden here, waiting to be unveiled. Some manuals that we should read, but uh, often don't. What else? A tuxedo lanyard, or call it a strap if you prefer. It looks nice and there are hardware stickers, Intel, Nvidia and what is this? Nahemic? If I'm not mistaken, it's sound technology not supported in Linux. We will explore it later in the review video. So, if you like it, go ahead and stick it. I don't. We also have a Tuxedo F5 USB flash drive for Linux system recovery and reinstallation. Let me know if you want me to discuss it further. I believe that covers all the extras. And this time there is no Tuxedo pants or notepads, which I have come to enjoy. But what's noticeably absent? The charger. Ah, there it is. At the bottom of the box. A 180 watt AC adapter. Interesting. Now let's clear the table and make space. It's time for the moment of truth. The silver color with the black laser engraved Tuxedo logo looks elegant. Despite housing an NVIDIA card, it remains lightweight and principally thin and solid, and bursts a metallic look that resists fingerprints, thanks to the magnesium chassis. Great job, Tuxedo computers. Remember, this is just a first impression. More details will follow in the review video. Now let's open the lid and reveal the beauty of the Infinity Book Pro 16's face. 
And yes, it successfully passes the one-handed opening test. The keyboard is full size with white backlighting, ample key travel, and the Tox Super Key. The trackpad is a large precision glass one with integrated buttons, multi gesture, and scroll functions. And the unique feature you can disable the right half. Even if it's not perfectly centered, I must say it's one of the best trackpads I have seen. Another point for the Infinity Book Pro 16 Gen 8, and there are more to come. Now, let's remove the plastic cover from the screen. Amazing. This 16 inch Omni display boasts a 1610 aspect ratio with sleek, tiny buzzers and matte anti glare coating. All at a remarkable 240 Hz refresh rate. Yes, you heard it right 240 Hz. Now let's press that power button and witness the visual art on this display. It seems you need to press it a bit longer to power on. A reasonable safeguard against accidental clicks. Amazing. In terms of ports, we have plenty of options, including Thunderbolt 4, HDMI 2.0B, USB-C 3.2 Gen 2, and an SD card reader. I believe that covers it for the unboxing. I will be benchmarking the notebook and using it as my primary device for the next two weeks. Stay tuned for a comprehensive review in the coming days. Thanks for watching, see you soon, and I will leave you with the first time setup.